Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome to the Bathhouse, another Chiller's Art horror game. Now, I just finished the closing shift recently and you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to blitz through some of these outstanding Chiller's Art games that I've got in my Steam library. Now, I did mention in the closing shift that this one, the Bathhouse, there's a bit of a funny story around it. It's actually been discontinued on Steam. You can't... There's a Steam store page for it, but you can't actually buy it anymore, because unfortunately it got pulled. Um, the devs decided to stop selling it, and the reason for that was because apparently there is a game-breaking bug that cropped up in this game um, sometime around December last year, and despite their best efforts, Chillers are unfortunately were unable to find a permanent solution to it, so I get the feeling that they discontinued this game because of the, well, maybe because in good conscience they just couldn't feel like they could sell this game in its state, because essentially they'd be selling a defective product. But uh, if you bought the game, of course, before it was discontinued, removed from Steam, then technically you'll still have it in your Steam library, like I do. So um, I'm going to try and give it a shot um, and see how far I get. Now, this is not my first attempt at uh, recording it. I did actually encounter the game-breaking bug a moment ago, in an initial recording attempt. I was barely even like five minutes into the game when I came across it and yeah, it just it wouldn't it wouldn't let me progress. So I looked online, Chills Art did at one point post a potential workaround for the issue. Um, so I'm just gonna give it another shot, see if it works. But if it doesn't then essentially we may have to pass this game um, just pass over this game and head on to the next one, um, which will be really unfortunate. I'm really hoping it works. We'll see. But like I said, I've already made one attempt at recording, and unfortunately I ran into the bug. And um, I also actually encountered a game crash when I tried um, changing a couple of the controls. When I clicked apply in the settings, it then caused the game just to crash out, which might be another bit of a bug there. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate, because, you know, Chiller's Art games, as a general rule, are always of pretty damn good quality. Um, I guess this might be the exception. All right, new game. Let's throw ourselves in there and um, let's just hope and see, hope and pray that this time it works. Like I say, I found a potential workaround online that Chiller's Art posted a while back. So I've given that a shot and we'll see if that works. Basically it involved deleting uh, certain folders from the um, uh, user directory, user like app data local low. Um, and then Chillers Art LLC, something from that di uh, that directory. So I'm assuming that might, well, it might be intended that that sort of resets something in the game and then maybe it actually works properly. But we'll see. Um, we'll see if it functions. Hmm. Uh, I got myself a nice cup of tea here. So assuming this fix actually works, um, what I'm going to try and do is play through, well, play through the entirety of the game if I can in one sitting and then probably just sort of split the footage down into more than one episode. Um, loading screen, are you uh, you working for us there? Taking a bit of a while, isn't it, this one? Okay, I'll jump cut then if necessary. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird and interesting start. No doubt this will come into play in the story somewhere. I'm tired of working at the company. I need to quit the job, and it's not healthy. Quit and go to the countryside. But I don't have that kind of money. Ugh. What is this mess? A flyer? Huh. This is it. Rent is free if you work at a bathhouse. I'll call them now. Let's move out now. Just like that. <laughs> so yeah, I've already seen this bit of the game, so I guess it's like day one. I guess our character's name is Akimura Minor. Room 203, got to bring my stuff first. So you start off outside this here building. There's a creepy dude over here who's just sort of stood there. Can't even see his face. There's like a traditional friggin' Japanese toilet over here. Squat toilet with a wanted poster with no actual face on it. Weirdly. Oh, that just flicked into existence. Let's take our stuff then. So we can't go down the street just yet because it wants us to go to our room. So we go upstairs like so. Room 203. Is this one? All right. And then the landlord comes up to us and he gives us the key. For some reason, the lighting is a bit weird in this area. I don't know if it's meant to be like this. And the landlord just opens the conversation with, you stink. You should take a bath after you're done moving your stuff. Come meet me at the local bathhouse. There's a thing I want to tell you here. It's the key to your apartment. 
Welcome to the town. Okay, so he gives us the key. Now, here comes the moment of truth. Is the bug fixed? Oh, it is. Thank God. Yeah, because when I did my initial recording attempt, this didn't work. I was clicking on the door and nothing was happening. Clicking on it with the key. All right, we found a solution to the bug then. Okay, well, it's not really a proper full-on... Well, I suppose it is a game-breaking bug in a sense, but it's not too bad. Clearly there is a solution to it. Oh, I've got like a little umbrella hanging off the side of the sink. God, this place looks like it's in much, much better days, not going to lie. All right, okay. I guess we uh, put our stuff ah, over here, like so. Boom, there we go. Uh, that looks like a horrible little peephole there. Dang it, could I have got to that before I put the boxes down? I don't know. Well, thing is, um, I was looking at the Steam achievements, there are two endings to this game. There's a good and a bad ending. And if you look at the statistics of people who've got them, clearly you can play this game to completion. Alright, so at least the game-breaking bug has been resolved for now. Assuming it's not going to crop up again. Alright, so now I just need to figure out where to go to get to this old bathhouse or whatever. Uh, at least I'm moving my stuff in. Can I go down the street now? You're still there, smoking now. There's my car. God, it's a very small car park, this, isn't it? It's funny how in Japan you have like these very sort of like compact little personal vehicles. <laughs> Alright, so where is the freaking bathhouse? Oh, as usual, this is what I love about the Chillers Art games, just the way they look. Hmm? Is there an animal in there? Oh. Oh, is this the bathhouse? This might be the bathhouse. Okay, hold on. Let me just explore a little bit more. Oh, I've got like a little kids' playground over here with a vending machine and one of these spinny ball things. It's like a little rocking doodah slide. Benches for the grandparents to sit on. Oh, we've got like a stand over here with gachapon machines. That also feels like a very Japanese thing, doesn't it? Gachapon. What's down here? Oh, like a bin store? Oh. Okay, that reminds me of um, the radio station. Clearly, we're going to have to open this at some point and get whatever's in there out. Some kind of handle? Okay. Oh, is, it, oh, is this the bathhouse over here? Hang on, is this the edge of the world? Oh yeah, this is the edge of the world over here. Oh look, another telephone booth. Um, no doubt that's going to come into play at some point, isn't it? Maybe? feels like whenever there's a telephone booth in these games, you always have to use it at some point. Okay, so hang on, if that's the bathhouse, then what was the pathway that we saw over here? Is this like a shrine or a temple? Oh, it looks like it, yeah. A shrine. Alright, there's some way we can interact with that, apparently. And with that one, too. Okay. Oh, what? Does it go even further up? So I'm pretty sure the storyline of this one is something paranormal. Okay, I might be getting right off the beaten path here. Hang on, can I talk to uh, this dude over here? This monk or whoever it is? God, why, why is with the characters' faces in this? Why are they all blanked out like that? Look who we have here. The new one, I presume. We welcome you with open arms. Smile. <laughs> You're working hard to get to the bath uh, to get the bathhouse running again. I heard. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And besides, I sense a presence following you around. I strongly, strongly recommend you get blessed here at my temple. Sure, bless me. Is this how I get protection from the uh, <laughs> from the horrible spirits? Is this how I get the good ending? You're one obedient child. The gods are happy to hear that from you. Smile. Whoa. Jesus, where the heck did you produce that thing from? There, you are protected for now. Smile. Please come by any time. Any time you feel. Strange. Smile. <laughs> What's with the smiles? <laughs> the next time you come, you must bring an offering. A monetary offering, of course. Or the gods will abandon you. Oh, so it's like a fucking pay-for-our-protection scheme, is it? Smile. Well, thank you, Mr. Monk. Of course they want bloody money. Of course they do. Ugh. <sighs> Dearing me. Kind of I'm tempted to just explore what... Well, no. Shall we explore what's up here? Ah, fuck it. Well, let's take a quick look. And we'll see what the deal is. Oh, a little Japanese garden. Bridge over here. 
Oh, you got a fishing rod. Use it? Sure. I'll just pick up someone's fishing rod and just use that. Wait, what did I just pick up? A sack? What do I need the sack for? What do I do? Why? Why? Why do I have a sack? What do I need sack for? That was just in that pond, apparently. Okay, well, maybe I've uh, already done something. Maybe that was an offering to something else, and now I've just pissed off some god or something. God, look how watery and shiny the ground is. Alright, let's get to the bathhouse. We have to see what the actual deal is over here. And let's -a go. Now, we have to probably go uh, blue, right? God, what is with your face? Why are you so weird? Ah, so you came. Welcome, welcome. You've seen the flyer, right? No need to pay the rent. You work at the bathhouse, no rent. Oh, and there's no shower in your room, so you have no choice. If you work here, you can use the bath at the end of every shift. Sounds like a deal, huh? <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> no, <laughs> he says very emphatically. I think there's someone in the room back there. All right, now, let's get started right now. See here? Please do all the tasks written on this board. If you have any questions, <laughs> keep it to yourself. It isn't much difficult. I should probably shouldn't say it isn't very difficult to run a bathhouse, but yeah, good luck. All right, brush the floor. Customer's coming. Oh, okay. How do I handle a customer? Oh, probably what I saw then was just a fan going around. <laughs> okay, suddenly you're now here. 100 yen. Thank you. Put the money in there. All right, you need razor. Do it. There you go. Have your razor. And have a towel, buddy. It's funny with these Chillers Art games how they always go like this with you just serving customers. Like in the convenience store, then in um, the other one. What was it called? Closing shift. Oh. oh, Jesus. Why are you so small? The missing person is a 29-year-old resident. Okay. God, why are you so tiny? Why are you so fucking tiny? You see the like, transition there when she went from clothes to wearing um, a towel. According to the police, she has been missing since she spoke with a woman in her 60s who lives nearby. Okay, that's really weird. So that's supposed to be coming from that radio there on the shelf, I guess so. Looks like the customers aren't coming anymore. Clear items in hand? No, I'll keep hold of them. Okay, it just says space to take a nap, apparently. Can I not interact with anything else? Oh, body soaps, conditioners. Okay, what's that supposed to be? Is that like another gachapon machine? Looks like it. I guess we take a nap. I don't think my boss is going to be particularly enthusiastic about this, but... <laughs> I'm sorry? What just happened? Who just hurt her head? Oh look, it's like a... One of those machines you get in like, old 70s friggin' uh, women's hairdressers. There's a television... And massage chairs, I guess. Fans go in. Can't go in there. So I think, um... From what I understand, this one, this game, has more of like a supernatural story. Uh, you alright? You're just sort of standing there in your towel. I'm not sure you're supposed to go in with a towel on, buddy, but... Futa says, what was that? I saw something in the sauna room. Could you go check it out for me? Oh, God, there's a ghost in the sauna. All right, he's just going to say the same thing. Sure. Yes, Futa, I'll go do that. Don't you worry. Ah, that room there, I guess. Hello. God, it's so dark in here. I don't see anything. Don't worry, Futa, you probably just saw an evil poltergeist or something like that. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Was there anything? I swear I saw something. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm out of here. <laughs> Off he goes. God, he's so lubed and sh lubed up and shiny. Look at him. <laughs> Jeez. Is he just... Into oh, wow, wow. He just transferred his clothes with his mental powers back onto his body. Yep, I'm here. Don't you worry. Uh, uh, he gone. Okay. How do I... A girl like you is perfect for the offering. Oh, am I supposed to be a female character? Are you the 60-year-old woman that was mentioned on that radio broadcast? 
Because if you are, I don't fucking trust you. Uh, right. Broom. Oh, that's something magically appeared, did it? Alright. I have to clean the place up, I do think. Alright. Uh, let's see. What can I clean up? Something out here, maybe? Oh, like these big splotches. Oh, oh I actually have to hold it down and do this now, apparently. Jesus. Sorry, just shaking the camera around. <laughs> In contrast to the closing shift, where you just held it down and a ring filled up. Good God, has somebody been peeing all over the floor? Somebody pissed themselves with fear when they saw that poltergeist or whatever. Is that what's happening? Got you. And close that then. Right, do I have to clean up the uh, women's side of the bathhouse as well? Probably. Hello? Anything around here? Can I go through this door? Oh. Oh, it's a toilet. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's broadly similar looking, isn't it, on that side to the men's side? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're joining me now, you're literally watching me scrubbing a floor. Broom, broom, mopping, mopping, sweeping a floor. God. I used to do manual labour, okay? They involve cleaning. I know what words I'm using, alright? Work's done. Take a bath. Guess I have to go uh, back over to the men's side, right? So do we not, like, drain the water or anything like that? Put chlorine in it? No, actually, you wouldn't put chlorine in it, would you? Not in this kind of thing. Wait, if I'm a woman, actually, I should probably be on the other side, shouldn't I? What am I doing? Uh, oh, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Right, how do I how do I bath? How to bath? How do I bath? How do I bath? Through here? Take a shower. Sure. Is a ghost going to try and perv on me while I'm doing it? Oh my god, I have no reflection. I am a vampire. Maybe I'm the ghost. Do I have to activate? Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, there we are. Didn't actually pick up any soap or anything while I was at it, so... Oh. I heard ya. I heard ya. I fucking heard ya. Heard something going on. Something clumping around. What's that sound? Is that music? Huh? What? 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 Who? It's a monkey. It's a fucking monkey. It's just a monkey, okay? Monkey just wanted to come and have a bath. Oh, what the shit? What perspective am I seeing this from? Is that in the men's sauna room? Is the monkey sensing and seeing something? Well, you know what they say, animals better at seeing ghosts than humans are. If you believe in that kind of thing, that is. Which I don't, because I'm pretty much a sceptic. Okay, so I guess we're on to day two. Right. Ah, hello there. You see, I've got more my laundry up, my very two-dimensional laundry. Okay. God. Ah, this. Pull it out. Oh, it's not a hole, it's... Ugh. What did I just get? Why do I just pull out? Why do I still have this sack? Well, that was lovely. What exactly did I just do? Oh, I've got a fridge. For trees with nothing in it. Microwave. Hmm. You've been eating takeaway sandwiches there? Looks like it. Alright, let's go to work. Go to bathhouse. Hmm. Anyone around here? Where's the landlord? What about creepy dude who was smoking before? Is he? Oh no, he's gone. He's just straight up gone. Interesting that his apartment is quite lit up, though. Which sort of makes me think at some point this is going to come into play, maybe, but I'm not sure. Yeah, nothing in the toilet. Okay. To the place. To the place down here. I wonder if I could steal the yen from the uh, money box and give it to the monk. Oh, hello. You doing alright there? You okay? Oh, can't talk to her? Just leaving some flowers? Is that like a offering? Did someone die here? Who knows? Landlord! Customer's coming. Get behind the thing! What is that music, though? Oh, clean stains on walls. Find out why electricity bill is rising. Probably because you've got all this unnecessary stuff. Hey there, how you doing? Alright. I got you a towel, bud. You have that. Keichi, hey. Bring me a drink in 15 minutes. Oh god, what am I, your slave? It's a bathhouse, not a fucking cafe. Got it? There you go, you have that. I'll stick that in there. 
Off you go, then. Uh, do we have drinks? I guess we have a fucking... No, it's a jukebox. That's what it is. Mark. Ooh. Tenka, I'm just here to find my earring that I dropped. Jeez. Okay. You just try and find that, then. How do I drink? How do I get the dude a drink? I mean, he said 15 minutes, which... It might... Ugh. Oh, God, are you some sort of grudge girl? Hello, you can come in. She's a fucking grudge girl. She's just a mysterious girl, and she just says dot, dot, dot. She's just going to stare over there, apparently. Can't do anything about you. Do you want a towel? Ugh. Okay. She was very offended when I picked up a towel and offered her a towel. She was like, no, fuck you, bitch. I don't want no towel. Alright, put that away. You're just going to trash those towels. Looks like the customers aren't coming anymore. Press space to take a nap. I don't really want to do that. I need to go and get the guy a drink. Alright, fine. I'll nap. Fuck that guy and his drink. Ah. Speaking of drinks, though, I got a drink. Someone else can scream. It's been about 15 minutes. Got to get that man a drink. Okay, let's do it. Um, oh, literally. We can get one from in here. Hey, dude. You in here? You want a drink, buddy? No, you just... Sat there, eh? Good girl. Don't be patronising. Listen, why do you work here? I have no choice. You always have a choice. You want to work for me? A girl like you could easily make a thousand times of what you make now. What are you offering? What do you think? Let's not waste your precious life here. Yeah, there's only one option. I'm not interested. Is he freaking offering me prostitution? Is that what he's doing? Pathetic. You think you're more than you're actually worth? Wow. God, you are lovely, aren't you? Better be careful. I'm being nice here, are you? You don't sound like you're being nice. If it wasn't me, you really will have no choice. Sorry, what's that meant to mean? Get out of here. Ugh. Oh god, did he have tattoos on? Is he Yakuza? He could be a Yakuza? Okay, I just said no to a criminal. He's got like freaking mob boss suit on now. Okay, I think we just uh, said no to a Yakuza dude. Get out of here, Keichi. We don't want your sort around here. Pretty sure it's not uncommon, though, in uh, Japan for people to be refused entry to bathhouses if they have tattoos, things like that. Because, obviously, fears about Yakuza and whatever else have you. All right. Um, ah, cleaning products. Here we go. All right, so you said clean stains on walls. Um, I'm assuming that'll be... St <coughs> the lights are off. Got to figure out a way to get it working again. Oh, God, right. Well, there's got to be a fucking thing around somewhere, hasn't there? A bloody circuit breaker or something? <laughs> Change the background music. Well, at least that fucking works. Uh, that's super fucking dark in there. That's the toilet. That doesn't work. Jesus. Alright, how do we solve this? Is like a fucking circuit breaker around? It's gotta be, right? Somewhere. That's that. That's just the drinks. Can we help ourselves to another drink? No, we can't. Uh, that's the cleaning cupboard. Don't really do anything with that at the moment. That's still locked. Definitely not do anything around here. Anything in the sauna? Are the poltergeist in there? God, that's just pitch black in there. Boiler room. Okay. I'm assuming this is where I need to be. Is there a circuit? Oh, oh no. Oh, look. This is like some Silent Hill bollocks in here, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? The lid is locked. It'll only open when the water is drained out. Dot, dot, dot. But the drain tube is missing. Huh. I wonder if that's that thing we saw in that rubbish closet area. God, why does this have such like a horrible Silent Hill vibe about it? It's locked. Yes. You're not going to comment on the fact it's covered in horrible weird police tape as well? And what's this? Why does that almost feel like a bit of a body bag or something? Okay. Right, so, need a tube, a drain tube, I guess. Okie doke. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. Let's just fucking move on out of here, why don't we? Uh, what if I go around? Is that not like it? Oh, oh that's just the yen thing over there. Um, that's the jukebox. How does one... Can one get through into the boiler room or a different part of it from in here? From the women's... Uh, thingy bobber. That's the women's sauna. Uh, they must not have a door to the boiler room in here. Alright, so... Pipe. 
We need a pipe. I think I know where the pipe is. It's literally over here. Oh, something over there as well. Oh, hey, bird. What do you got in your beak there? What is that? Don't entirely know. Hang on, what's around here? What's this? Enter the appliance store. Okay. Hang on. Wait for it. Why is that marked out? That's real weird. I guess we go into the appliance store? Huh. It's like cables fucking going everywhere. What the heck? Okay, let's go in and see what the fucking deal is here. Ooh. Okay. What are we fucking looking at here? Oh, hey. You doing alright over there? Oh, Denko. You don't look like the type who can afford things. Wow, just say I'm poor, why don't you? These appliances, they are my babies. Feel free to take a look. Just one thing. Absolutely no bartering. You hear me? Okay. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> do I need to uh, attract his attention so I can get that key? Wow, I just have to activate the fire alarm? <laughs> oh, wait. It's not a man, it's a woman, isn't it? What are you doing? Ugh. Get the electricity box key. It's the key for the electricity box. She'll be behind the store. Okay, we're just gonna fucking go. Wait, where's the door of this place? Where's the entrance? How do I get the fuck out of here? Oh, there we are. God. Why is the door all fucking just dark? Very strange. <laughs> it's a weird fire alarm, that as well. Do that. Clean up the place, okay. Weird how the control for that is um, over here. Appliance store. It's weird that I couldn't just ask for the key. I had to distract distract old what's a face Denko, and then friggin' just do that. <laughs> Real weird. Video game logic, I guess, eh? There's never a simple or straightforward approach, is there? All right. Yeah, I left that open last time. There we go. Clean up. And round and do the same over on the women's side. Alright. In here. Oh my god. How are you getting these stains on the walls, ladies and gentlemen? What's that about? How are you all managing this? Ah, <sighs> Reminds me of my days, again, working in retail. When customers would somehow manage to make an incredible mess and you think, how the fuck have you done that? Just how? How do you manage this? Why are you like this? Stuff like that. Uh, what do we need? Oh, right. Well, we found out why the electricity bills are rising. Uh, it says there's still stains on the walls, though, somewhere. Have I missed one? I must have missed one. There must be one around somewhere. Anything in the haunted... No? Haunted uh, sauna room? Do you want to clean anything in the boiler? The boiler area? Can we clean anything in here? I doubt it. God, this place is so decrepit. Looks like a right problem. Only open when the water's drained out. The drain tube is missing. Well, we know where the drain tube is, but I don't think we just have what we need to in order to do that just yet. What am I doing with this sack? Why do I need it? Why do I need this sack? What's that about, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I'm feeling still really glad, though, that we managed to get this game working. That essentially, you know... Despite my initial recording attempt running straight into the bug. I'm just so glad that I have managed to get things functional. Alright, what am I missing? Is there one still around somewhere? Oh. Oh. That, apparently. I did not even realise. Work's done. Take a bath. Sure. Oh, my favourite bit. Is the monkey going to come back? And start jabbering? Sensing another friggin' uh, poltergeist or something in one of the sauna rooms? Oh, there we go. It's a little bit delayed. Alright, what's going to happen now? Oh, I hear that. That horrible whispering. Why? And where was the mysterious girl? Did she die here? Did she drown? Oh, what? Yeah, let's take a bath. Why not? So this technically would be a cento, this bathhouse, wouldn't it? Because it's an indoor bathhouse. Whoa! Hello. Hey, how's it going? Do you mind not perving on me while I'm trying to have a bath? You get on out of here. <laughs> I think I probably noticed that sooner than I was meant to. Uh, do we want to get out and investigate that, or do we just want to chill out in here for a bit? Whoa! Okay. 
I think I want out of this bath. What exactly is that? Character, you're not concerned by what just happened there? But... I hear that on the other side. Someone having a bath over there? Are we not going to look at what was in there? Alright, who's in there? What fresh hell awaits me in here? Someone been activating the fucking taps. Don't do that. Fucking water bill's going to be absolutely immense. Good lord. Well, that just came from the boiler room. We should definitely go in there and investigate whatever the hell that was. Oh boy. Oh, you've blocked it off, have you? You've decided that no, no one's going in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, the monk's here. Did you get him to come and do an exorcism? Something like that? Are you hoping that having him praying outside will ward off the demons? Whatever's happening? It'll also save a fortune on water bills. Because there'll no longer be demons turning all the taps on. Alright, three. My goodness. My washing line is just getting more and more full each time. Okay, let's um, look around. God, this room is so just dank looking, isn't it? This is such a miserable little apartment. Alright, exit. Let's head on to the bathhouse. Let's go and charge some ghosts. Several yen in order to make use of the bathing facilities. Creepy guy with the smoking cigarette, you're not there anymore. Can we definitely not do anything with your apartment, 106? It just seems strange to me that... Because you know how devs often use lighting in games to draw your attention to things that are significant? So obviously room 203 is significant because that's your room at the start. But I just find it curious that 106 has a light sort of drawing your attention to it as well. It's very curious. I don't know why that is. Alright. Still don't really have a monetary offering. But what is this sack? Is the monk up here? Can he tell me what this sack is? You got anything to say about this now? If you need more help, smile. Head over to the offertory box and offer a prayer. Smile. The offertory box, is that uh, this thing? Or is that that thing over there? Or That's a prayer wheel. Oh, what did I just do? Oh. Okay, I just put a load of stuff up. Oh, shit. Can I look at each of these? Okay. What exactly are these? Oh. Is this Patreon content stuff? Possibly. It looks like it, doesn't it? I wonder if you can, like, fill all of them up. Maybe, wait, wait, wait. Was it the case that you could come to the pond, maybe every day, and do some fishing? Yeah, because the fishing pole's still here. Get a sack and just put some stuff on. Oh, yeah, you can use it again. Oh, I should have done this on the second day, shouldn't I, then, probably. Oh, I got another sack. Okay. I mean, this is probably just, like, an additional achievement, this. If you do this each and every day. And then you can, like, fill up the things with just stuff. Okay, which one's that going to put it on? Ah, oh, you see, we've got all these ones up here. This must be Patreon supporters, or something. I'm assuming. Hmm. Well, I don't think there's any need to click on all of them. Right, offertory box. Is that this thing over here? No. No, it's not. Is it not this thing? Oh, I have to put money in it, don't I? Uh, I probably need to um, keep hold of some of the yen instead of putting it in the bathhouse's money box. That's probably what I need to do, isn't it, ladies and gents? That just flies over there. Oh, we can't go in there. We have to go in through here instead. Customers coming. Hell yes. Just going to have to be uh, female customers, is it? Women only, please. Unless it's the uh, spooky girl. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong with your face? All right. Give me a shampoo, says Chio. There's no please or anything there. Shampoo. There you go. You doesn't want a towel, do you? You want two towels. Good lord. Now you're just being greedy, ain't you? All right, I'll take that for myself, thank you very much. Oh, bollocks. I have to put it in the thing, don't I? Never mind, otherwise she doesn't technically pay. She seems odd. What do you mean, this girl seems odd? Oh, you paid for both? Jesus. God, the way they sort of walk is so weird. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, so there's got to be a way of like keeping hold of some of the money. Maybe that happens later. All right, remove rust from shower heads. Uh, something baking soda from the something store. Get sweet potato, apparently. 
Oh. You just glitched through that. What the hell are you? Chilla... Tikes, Chilatikes Believer? Chilapin. Hey, you there. Why the glum face? You need help. But you're alright now. You're loved by Chilatikes? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The fact that you're here with me is proof of that. I give you this, the spirit of Chilatikes. Keep it with you and you'll be full of vitality. Why is everyone also in this game so small compared to me? Or am I just really tall? Chilapin. Chilatikes is always with us. Some call him God, but properly we call him that. I see. I guess I'll take it. Oh. Well then, that will... <laughs> what? 100,000 yen? I don't have that kind of money. Tsk. Chillabin. Careful, girl, before Chillatekes abandon you. Chillabin. Chillabin. What is this exchange that we just had? Who's this weird cultist who just wandered in? Deary me. Sorry, I'm like spinning the camera around real fast. Oh. Okay, answer the phone. Hello? Eight. One. Two. Okay, eight one two. Thank you. What was that? Eight one two. Memorise that, it's a code. You're gonna need that at some point. Oh, what the twenty? What? I hear footsteps. Oh, it's the old women. It's the weird old women. Sounds like they come back through. A girl like you is perfect for the offering. Stop saying weird shit like that. Makes me think you're gonna fucking sacrifice me. I hear someone else back there. Is it the other old woman? That's all for today. Let's see. On the list, it says to go get baking soda from the local candy store. Why the candy store? Weird. Strange tasks. Where's the other weird woman? Oh, what the? Are you in there? <laughs> Just throw open the door and there's an old woman trying to take a piss. That's another sight you want to see. Alright, remove rust from shower heads. Alright, how, do how, does, how does one do that? Uh... Oh, can't go through in there, apparently. Okay, well, can we change to a different track? Not that one. Four. Jesus. Why are all the tracks so fucking weird? Why are they all so fucking strange? Alright, probably have to go this way, don't we? Oh, I thought maybe go this way to uh, get round to the male side, but we can't. Can we? Uh which shower heads need sorting here? Not entirely sure. Clearly not ones on this side by the looks of it. Unless there's an arrow somewhere, but I'm not entirely certain. Okay, I don't see anything there. Alright. Not that then. How do we get across to the other side? Uh, well, maybe I have to go and get the candy and stuff first. Um, oh, what the heck is going on down here? Is this the missing cat poster? The candy store cat? Okay, this is the candy store. Who the hell? Is some religious thing? Emojiro. Hey, hey! Nice to meet ya. You want a potato? Yeah, sure. Thank you for considering. However, we have a policy of asking a few potato questions as to give you the right one to eat. <laughs> what? Where do sweet potatoes grow? Uh, I don't know. Dirt? Correct. When do you harvest them? Oh god, I don't know. Autumn? Correct. Well, like normal potatoes, I guess. Do sweet potatoes bloom flowers? I don't know. No? Wrong. You are not only a dis... dis sorry. <laughs> what? Am I just having my sweet potato knowledge suddenly tested? You are not only a disgrace to all potato eaters of the world, but also to the whole human race. Wow. Fucking dramatic much. Come back and try again. Balls to you. I know the answers to this. Dirt. Correct. Autumn. Yes. What do they look like? Oh, fuck, I don't know. I haven't a fucking clue, buddy. Morning Glory. Oh, there we go. Morning Glory. You seem to know your potatoes very well. Now for the final question. What is the best way to eat a sweet potato? Stone baked. Mm. Microwave, no. Boil. Yeah. Fry and oil. It's fry and oil. Wrong. Oh, for fuck's sake. God dang it. Are you serious? Why do I have to go through this rigmarole? Dirt. Autumn. Yes. Shit. I pressed... Oh, fuck me. I'm, like, skipping through the dialogue and clicking the wrong answers. 
Hold on, we'll get through this, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to do commentary with that chanting in the background. Yes, they do. They look like morning glories. Best way to eat a spike, uh, yeah, sweet potato. Stone baked. Well, well. You've proven worthy to my cream of the crop potatoes. Here it is. Enjoy it. But don't eat too fast. Savour it. Okay. What a weird little exchange that was. God, I need to get the hell away from you because that is so loud. Candy store. We need to go and get uh, baking soda. Oh, we probably need the baking soda for the shower heads, don't we? Because often baking soda is used um, as a cleaner, isn't it? Right. Where be the baking soda? Oh, hello. You want to tell me where the baking soda is? Young lady, says Umeki, you have beautiful eyes. Mind if I take a closer look? Why is everyone in this village so fucking weird? Uh, sure. Sorry. Can't help it when I see such glistening pair. <laughs> Chuckle. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> this village is full of such oddballs. I think they're all cultists or something. I'd get the hell out of here if I were you, Protag. Just abandon this bathhouse job. It's fucking weird. They know more than the letting on. The missing cat poster. Tamachan. If you find her, I can give you a special gift. Chuckle. Oh, right, I have to find the cat, do I? You're going to gift me with baking soda, is that it? Is that what you're going to do? Can I come back here? Probably where I shouldn't be, but never mind. Alright. Guess I go looking for a cat then, do I? Exit the candy store. Doesn't really look like much of a candy store, but hey. Right. Cat. Kitty, kitty, oh. It's the dead monkey. Did it get hit by car? Something like that, probably. That definitely feels like the drain tube there that we need for something. Um, can't go there by the looks of it. It's got to be something in terms of a dead cat around somewhere. Well, not necessarily a dead cat, but <laughs> a cat, maybe. You never know. You don't see a cat around here? I don't see a cat around here at all. Kitty! Uh. Is that a dude standing in the fucking... Yeah, he's by the urinal. Okay. Kitty! Is there a kitty around here somewhere? A kitty cat? Hello! Can we interrupt this guy while he's taking a piss? Oh, well, there you are. Oops, oh, jeez. Just pick that thing up. Why not? Oh my god, he disappeared. He just straight up fucking vanished. Was it the dude from 106? Alright, I've got your cat, candy store person. At least that was fairly easy to find. Sound effects very much guided us on point there, which is good. Uh, candy store. Thank you. Feels like this candy store is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, though, doesn't it? Uh, where the hell is the person? Oh, they're around there. God, it's so weird. Oh. God, I thought I said you're gone. No, you're still there. Chuckle. Is this your cat? Tamachan. Welcome back. Thank you, young man. Wait, am I... Am I a man now? Now for the gift. I made it especially for you. Take your care of it, will you? Chuckle. What? A chess key. Ugh, great. Spooky Japanese doll. Why the fuck not a chess key? Where the fuck does the chess key go to? Do you have a chess somewhere back here? That you want me to utilise in some way? Mm, that's just a candy... Oh, this. Baking soda. What a strange little mini quest I had to go through to get that. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. Well, I've got the baking soda so I can now clean, clean the bathhouse up. Or clean the shower heads, rather. Yeah, baking soda is sort of like caustic, so you can use it in that way. Ah, this one. Oh, do it like this. I've used baking soda before myself, for example, for like cleaning ingrained tea stains out of mugs, things like that. It's like you get a tiny little bit of water in it, and you just smear it around stains, things like that, and then leave it for a bit. Work's done. Ta ta ta, take a bath. Over here. Shower me up, baby. So I'm bathing in the female quarters here. So am I a young man or am I a young woman? Because I, you know, had women's clothes, so... I'm assuming I'm a young woman, but then that friggin' person just called me a man. Unless they're friggin' blind, I don't know. They couldn't tell what sex I was. 
Or maybe I'm just a very androgynous looking person. All right, where's the poltergeist? Is it going to appear at some point? Something bad going to happen? Are we golden? Hello? 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 Ghosties, if you're going to try and jump scare me, please get it over. Oh, never mind. Okay. Take a saw now. Oh, great. This surely isn't going to go badly for us now, is it? All right. Take a saw now. Why the hell not? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, God, what's that sound? Oh, hello over there. I see you. See, I feel like, you know, by now, we would surely have just abandoned this gig. And just thought, fuck it. We're out of here. Okay, did someone drown in the bathtubs at some point? Nope, oh, <laughs> the sound just cut out. Okay. <laughs> Get through. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, come on. Why won't the door open? What's going on here? What? The door's not opening. Why won't the door open? Oh, God. Shut. Open it, open it, open it. Okay, there's a... There we go, we bolted it. Go. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? It was supposed to be a bolt on that door. Oh, God, go, go, go. Jump. Jump. Oh, I'm across. Uh, where do I go? Uh, uh, uh. Door, through here. Shoot. Oh, shit. No. Get down. Ooh. Oh, my God. Heart's pounding. Still as tense as it was the first time I played it. 